One question that any of us might have after watching the terrifying videos that we shared yesterday, vehicle after vehicle slamming into each other. If you're in that kind of situation, is it safer to stay in your car? Or if you can get out, do you get out, even if it's on a dark freeway? CBS 11's J.D. Miles today has been looking for some answers. We don't know yet how many of the victims who were injured or killed on I-35W in Fort Worth Thursday were inside their vehicles at the time. Safety experts with AAA say it's still the safest place to be if you're ever in an accident on a freeway. The, usually, the best thing to do is to stay in your car with your seatbelt on. That's not always the case, but usually it is. Uh, getting out of the vehicle, you risk being hit by another vehicle, especially when vehicles were out of control and sliding like they were in that situation. Some drivers involved in the massive wreck who were able to did exit their vehicles before other cars and trucks came plowing through within seconds. With concrete walls on either side of the lanes where the accident happened, many drivers found themselves trapped. From the videos, it appears approaching drivers hit their brakes hard, which sent many out of control. You want to make sure that if you're, if you're going over 25 miles an hour, you're not slamming on the brakes. In fact, don't even use the brakes. Uh, try to steer in the direction you want to go. It's unclear at this point if anyone was hit while outside their vehicle. Safety experts with AAA say the investigation will re-examine the long-standing belief that staying inside a vehicle is the safest place to be after a freeway accident. And that situation uh, was one that we don't see very often, but uh, certainly one that uh, hopefully, as tragic as it was, we can learn from and, and move forward and make things safer for everyone on the roadway. AAA says drivers who remain inside their vehicles should also keep their seat belts on at all times. Experts also say this deadly pileup should serve as a reminder to drivers to slow down during freezing temperatures, even if the road appears to be dry. In Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. J.D.